in this draft preview with the 22 class, we've got to talk about arms. It's loaded. I'll get to it quickly. Dylan Lesko has been a PG guy for years and years and years. Was once a shortstop, once a catcher. He is all pitcher now. He's the top of that class. Tell us about Dylan. Yeah, it's an insane combination of polish and stuff uh, that we keep that we see, keep seeing getting better. Uh, forever and ever, he was a guy who could throw hard with a really good changeup, and he threw strikes, and he'd pitch in a ton of PG stuff. He won every game he ever pitched, etc. But there was always sort of a okay, well, you know, before we anoint him, we need to see the breaking ball come on. We, you know, we need to see that refining of that, and he did that. The breaking ball came on in a big way this summer. It's a pitch that you could put plus on for, for the future grade and feel comfortable doing it. He can really spin it. The, the metric stuff took off as well and, and still kind of honing the or did hone more uh, the fastball command, and he's always had that change. He's the whole package. Another right-hander, and then I'm going to rip through lefties, is a man you know very well because you see him on the baseball field as a coach, uh, Brock Porter out of Milford, Michigan. This young man's a Vanderbilt commit. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody in the class who has the velocity upside that Porter does. Uh, just the arm speed, the way the body works, his athleticism, uh, how big he can get from where he is now. It's unbelievable. It's it's kind of a similar profile to Lesko in that the changeup is dominant. The changeup is Porter's best pitch, just like it is Lesko's. They're different changeups. Uh, Brock's more of a, uh, I call it the bullet with butterfly wings, uh, whereas Lesko's has more power to it. And Porter, slider, curveball, he's been up to 100. Uh, it's Long lean, everything works. Uh, just really inc- incredible projection there, and, and just the he's a little bit less refined in terms of command than Lesko is, and that's what the separator is right now. So inside the top ten, I'm seeing six or seven pitchers. So I'm going to go quickly, be respectful towards them in doing so. Uh, Ole Miss commit left-handed pitcher Jackson Ferris. Uh, the picture of size and left-handedness uh, can spin a really good breaking ball. The fastball has incredible traits to it. Um, he's into the mid-90s. He's big and left-handed. Uh, what else do you want? Outstanding. Vanderbilt commit left-handed pitcher Floridian Brandon Barriera. Yeah, he's that's a stuff monster. And credit to Vinny Servino, who's been all over that one forever. Um, long and lean lefty. There's still a lot of room to grow on the body. He's a great athlete. And depending on the day you see him, any of his four pitches will look plus. Now, we're still looking for some refinement and some consistency, but he's got as much upside as anybody. Another Middle America guy from Illinois and another Vanderbilt commit, left-handed pitcher Noah Schultz. Notice the trend with lefties now. Schultz, is he's huge. He's 6'9", uh, left-handed. It's a very low slot. He's got a lot of that, the vertical attack angle traits that you want where he throws uphill. Um, it's just a really uncomfortable bat, and he spins an incredible slider, a frisbee with, with tons of spin on it and, and lots of movement. Um, he's a weapon. He's a weapon right away. Perhaps the biggest jump in the last one year was taken by the man at number 10. He's a Coastal Carolina commit. He's from Virginia. We both got to know him, and he took on Jupiter, I think, which helped his stock, Levi Huseman. Yeah, I, we've talked about it already, Set that the old-timers with PG likened his performance to that of Jose Fernandez's, which is the all-time performance in Jupiter history. It's 17 strikeouts, no walks, complete game shutout, absolute domination, Went from 88-91 at National to 92-95 in Jupiter and held it uh, through everything for strikes. He's a good athlete. Uh, unbelievable performance with a well-deserved rise on the end of it. Before I let you go, I've got to take advantage of a guy who's probably one of the more talented players. He's a little further down the list as he gets polished. But he's 6'8", and his name is Chase Shores. He's an LSU commit. You guys have been on him for a while. What kind of evolution have you seen from Chase Shores? He's an intriguing pitcher. Definitely. And guys that size, you know, and he's six seven, six eight, with long arms, you know, it's not a secret that guys that big have trouble throwing strikes, have trouble controlling their bodies and repeating their deliveries early on in their career. And it's just a, too many limbs going in too many directions. Um, so as Shores has come into his body more, as he's gained strength and physicality, those things have kind of straightened themselves out a little bit, and we're seeing more strikes. And when 96-97 with strikes and that size and that arm speed and a developing breaking ball, you can see why he's ranked highly. Incredible stuff. Thank you so much, my friend. We really appreciate your insights. Can't wait to, to get these guys out on the field in the spring playing high school baseball. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. So thank you for having me.